Hey y'all, it's time to do a little trout fishing again. Yeah, buddy, we're going we're gonna eat some raw liver. I've been craving some raw liver lately. Never had it before. I wanna get big. I wanna get juiced, like that liver king guy, you know? And also I've lost like eight pounds from a stomach virus. I need something that's gonna get me jacked right now. But first, we gotta catch some trout because the sun's about to go down. We're gonna get some fish, hopefully, build our campfire and then get primal. We're gonna get primal with an east dag of raw liver. Uh where is it? Oh yeah, right over here. Mm -hmm. Freshly harvested, right there, even got a heart. So stay tuned. Heading down to the water. Get me a trout. Ain't got no doubt. Gonna give me a trout, yeah. <laughs> You got a bite, little bump? I'm gonna come over here my bite. <laughs> uh, I see what you're doing. I see what's going on. You got a bite though. I did. Oh, there's one. We're hooked up, baby. Oh, dude, he come off. Single, single hook. Single hook. <laughs> it looks just kind of gradual. Like it just gradually Oh, there. Hey, now. We're on, baby. Yeah. There I go. Oh, I'm hooked up, too. Oh, oh no. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> you lost it? Oh, oh man. man. We almost had a double. Man. Shoot. Oh, yeah. Net that bad boy. Man. Tandem was on my. I know. With that single hook. That was awesome. Oh, he choked it. Oh, yeah, Are you man. serious? You're hooked up again? Here we go. This guy went mess around. Nah, this is going back. Got him fired up. What was that? Two casts, two to three casts in a row. Yeah. Spinners for dinners. Oh, goodness. We got one. We got it, daggum. Catfish? <laughs> it looks like a catfish. It's gyrating. Oh, this is a pretty good one, dude. Uh, it's actually doing a little run here. You need a net? Yeah, I need a net. Look yeah. at this. That's a big boy. Oh, wow. That ain't, that's a. Uh, oh, whoa. Oh. Yeah, baby. That's a pretty juicy one there. Just grab it. Oh. Good hit. Oh, come on, little guy. Let him go. Already got our limit. Just a fun catch. All right, guys, back at camp. We got our trout cleaned. We're just hanging by the fire. But well, we're a couple men getting hungry out here. We're trying to live primal. Lance, how, how excited are you? One to 10 about trying a wild animal's I mean, innards, liverds for the first time. Uh, probably about a nine and a half. Nine and a half, you're pretty pumped. I mean, I'm, I'm down to try and, and experience new things all the time. Oh, I like that spirit. You're an adventurous spirit. I, I mean, I'm either going to like it or I'm going to say I tried it once and I won't try it again. I, I was actually surprised how big the liver is. I, I am too, actually. You, you, looking at that, were you kind of shocked? So the one with the gristle around it was the heart. Yeah. The other big thing was the liver. Yeah, it that actually was, comes in like two. Well, it's a liver. It's two, two things. Yeah, two. It's got two, two glands. Two deals. Yeah. I haven't seen the deer, so but I was. That's pretty big. Oh, the deer was small. So Phil dressed that deer was sixty pounds. Uh, you know, Central Texas two-year-old doe, not very big. As far as the liver goes, I think a good animal to choose from. We're not talking about like an eight-year-old dad here. This is, uh, you know, this is a young, nice, tasty doe. Do you know what it tastes like? Like, are you have you heard from others? I've only had raw liver, 
and that was in Africa. Uh, what animal? It was out of an um, Nyala. Yeah. And it was ba like baking in the hot sun. Okay. It was it, no, and and I I, I don't even. I don't know. I, th I think it maybe has some fat. I think we should try a bite raw. Oh, I don't. Just to just. Justin, I haven't drank enough. <laughs> <laughs> a couple more, buddy. Come on, just a sliver. Okay, yes, maybe a sliver. A sliver, just to say. And if I spit it out, don't judge me. <laughs> we're not the kings. We're just the, we're the liver boys. Either we either we both do it or none of us do it. Let's both do it, and I, I will be upfront and honest with you. I clean this deer kind of in a rush. I mean, it's clean. I messed all. It's fine. But I didn't rinse it off even. Like, uh, it's it's just... I mean, I'm going to cut my piece, and I'll probably rinse it off with some water, but we'll be okay. good. Okay. All right. You're going to do a little rinse off. I mean, this is this is raw and real, folks. I mean, you had a Coors Light with a little bit of blood on it earlier. I did. All, all my Coors that were in the cooler have, uh, like, a little bit of blood on top. So, if, if For the rest of the liver, we're going to cook, though. Yes, we're going to cook it. Okay. I, I want to see how it tastes raw, though. And, and see the comparison because I've heard if you overcook it, it's really bad. Like it just tastes like a, eating a battery. But I think if you cook it, do you have a do you have a probe? Yeah, I do have a probe. You do you do have a probe? Okay. All right. Lance is actually a really good cook, and he um, he smokes. He, he's his channel is. One too many or five too many hobbies. One or too many hobbies. One too many hobbies. All that fun, manly stuff, backyard stuff. <sighs> All right, I'm going to get a plate. We'll get a couple slivers and maybe get one more beer in us and then it's go time. I mean, that's a good looking piece right here. I mean, what do you think? Right on the ends? And we'll give them a little water rinse. <sighs> Whatever you think, man. I think it looks good. I'm gonna cut one piece and then we'll cut it in two. Yeah, that that's perfect. That's that's perfect. Look, that's not that's not crazy. Looks like a leech. You say it's not crazy. You haven't ate it yet. So look how bloody it is, though. Don't don't demonetize us, YouTube. <laughs> it's not blood. Black, black and white. I like how my food prep is Dude, just that's... Like so. I literally haven't rinsed this off at all. Should we rinse it off? I mean, you think I got a little here. I got a little rinse in that. Dude, I don't. Why are we doing this? Because we're men in the woods. We're trying to get big. All right, here you go. Yeah. Can I can I cook it real quick? No. One one two three raw. Oh, it's kind of crunchy. It's like a cucumber. Shoo! It's not that bad. It tastes. Does it taste fishy? Yeah. Yes, it does. I was gonna say it. I was gonna say. Do you know what it is? You know what it is? Crawdad. A fatty part. It's Dude. like the fatty part of a crawdad. I swear, this animal lived in the water. It's fishy. It, it tasted like, like the real fatty skin on a fish, maybe. Um, but I, I got crawdad in there, like a little bit of seafoodish. It's yeah, fishy crawdad is the like first a thing. Lobster smell. Yes, there's kind of like a lobster smell when you when you crack into it. That uh, I, I didn't expect that, and crunchy. It was crunchy. <laughs> the first why it was crunchy. It's crunchy and fatty all at the same time. <laughs> it's very strange, but I crawdad, I'm the crawfish. Yeah. Fishy. Yeah. Shellfish. Shellfish. Uh, honestly, I don't know if I could take just like a whole hunk of that. No, but I'll tell you what, it. it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Put that on a cracker, though. <laughs> put that on a cracker. <laughs> hey, put that on a cracker, dude. We're calling out all the social, the food social guys. Next, we're going to try the cooked version. I'm curious if the uh, flavor profile will still be there. My, I, instantly, I was like, fish. Is this fish? Do you feel bigger, by the way? I feel like... I just, my chest just got like a little yeah. bigger. You know what I mean? Not as big as Liver King, though. Not as big as <laughs> Liver King, but, you know, a few more livers, we might uh, be good. I there. cannot believe it tasted like that. Hashtag juice up. Oh. Mmm. Man make fire. Man have Weber. 
man cook liver and hopefully not get bacterial infection spg probably some uh butter in a, in a skillet or do you think just straight on the straight uh, on i would the go grill. straight on here straight on the grill i have a little bit of a pan for spray on it yeah Can we get Let's that give up? it a little, little gotta give it a little lube Let's go to the preparation table here over at Lance's camper. Butter. Okay, so you got pork at a certain temp, you got chicken at a certain temp, fish. What is this supposed to be cooked at? <laughs> we just ate it raw, so. <laughs> well, I think here. Treat it like a tenderloin, I, I, 125. 125 looks called good. Okay. That was an aluminum foil. Uh, Hey, when you're camping, man, you just gotta make make. You eat. gotta improvise. I might have I might not have fingers after this, but you ready? I'm ready. Man, getting uh, blood all over the. Do you know a trick here? It's a trick. Okay, so you have this. This is how you do it like this. Hang Whoa. on, I see a hair. You see it? What? That's my that's my hair. That's not even deer hair. So you normally people want to do it like this and shake it on. Yeah. Close hey. that. Open this side. Don't turn it. Leave it like this. A little high. Get it up there. Oh, you let it come out of the yes. lips. Look at that. Folks at home, hit that like button. You just learned something new, most likely. Going on? Going on. Scoot live. We're going to do it live. Let me go to the back side. A little sizzle on it. There we go. All right, we'll let that uh, cook for a while. Marinade, dude. Why is there a cost? Oh, it's, dude, it's, dude, it's it's heavy. Dude, we we ignored it for too long. We overcooked it. It was on for like three minutes. Oh, that is better. One thirty-nine. You want to take it off? I, the other side's not even cooked, dude. Here, let's do this then. I mean, we're just let's just get a little offset or leave it on. Man, we we messed this one up. Dude. That was quick? Yeah. Dude, it's hard as a rock. What's that other side, Tim? Oh, we, we, yeah, we got one side okay. at 150, one side at 100. Let's just put it right here. Let's just leave it there for like a minute or two. Do you have any like condiments that we can maybe um, throw on there? I have some hummus. Hummus. Damn. I think it's, I think it's good. You think you can pull it off? I just don't think we're cooking it the proper method, like the the right the cast iron maybe. Cast iron, butter. This is not the jam. Okay, so here's what we're learning: cooking livers. You need a lot of moisture, apparently. You know that crunch that we hit? Yeah. That's that's like a shell now. Well, first of all, we're all we're assuming we don't know anything yet. I'm not imagining this going well. Hopefully this is not going to turn me off from eating liver uh, ever again. How are you supposed to cook liver to begin with? So let us know in the comments. I'm sure someone watching this has cooked liver before properly, successfully. <laughs> not and, on a Weber grill. And likes it. <laughs> this is like caveman style right here. We, we just ate it raw, now we just threw it over some coals. What would you, you probe at? It was high. Okay, <laughs> like, pull, uh, pull the sucker yeah. off. Dead Show the folks at home what this thing looks like. Kind of a, oh yeah. It, and <laughs> it's kind of got like a bounce to it. Luckily we got tortilla soup over here to save the day. Yeah. No, we all know. Do it's we want to cut right in the middle? Let's cut down the middle. Okay, cut it down the middle. I don't know, it's not. I, I don't know, I'm feeling okay about that middle piece. Let's try this. There she blows. I mean, same. Say something, like crawdad. <laughs> what on earth? Dude, there's That's definitely a buttery there's, crawdad. There's definitely. Man, I just that flavor profile. You were saying about the flavor profile? In a million years, I would never have thought crawfish. <laughs> and I love crawfish. Here's the thing. It's starting to get a little weird now. It's starting to get... It was fun at first. Dude, like... Now it's getting a little aggressive. Dude. You went in for another. <laughs> With the outer profile, 
crisp up. It's still moist inside. But it's... It definitely needs a side item, I would say. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. It's an acquired taste, 100%. So, if you guys are going to try the livers out of your deer this season, just be prepared for a buttery, but seafoody kind of taste. Shellfish. Shellfish. That's going on. Um, hey, it's not terrible. It's not. It's not horrible. But like, it, I need. I need something with it. I feel like just that much and we flavor. Pr we probably didn't cook it right. There's probably a way no. to cook liver. Yeah. Yeah. Let maybe us know maybe eating raw is a way. We'll find out tomorrow. Fishing for <laughs> trout, and our waiters fill up with uh, doo doo. I think uh, chicken tortilla soup's on the menu. I think that's where it is. Yeah, that's where it's at tonight. <laughs> chicken tortilla soup. It was it was fun to try. It was a fun experiment. I feel like it's going to waste, but it's not. You always <laughs> spit it out anyways. That's the crust, dude. I can't get through the crust. This is something that I would have thrown in the gut bucket. Yeah. And thrown to the coyotes, but I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that we tried it. And now we know. Oh, hey. I will probably try the liver again, just cooking in a different way. But hey. Maybe I will get a giant six pack now in a, in a big chest from, from eating that. I don't know. Probably not. But thank you guys for hanging with me at camp. And if you want to stay tuned for more outdoor action, you know what to do. Subscribe right here to the channel and enjoy your time in the great outdoors. God bless you. We'll see you soon.